So I'm going to tell you about the life cycle of the monarch butterflies. So at first the two monarch butterflies mate and then the female monarch butterfly will lay an egg usually on the bottom of a leaf near the top of the plant and then it'll take about four days for the egg to hatch and then once the egg hatches it once the caterpillar hatches out of the egg it will usually eat the eggshell and then it'll eat start eating the milkweed plant so this I mean so <coughs> then once it gets too big for its skin then it will shed its skin and right after it sheds its skin it usually eats its shedded skin and then it'll start eating plant again. Once it gets ready to make a chrysalis it'll hang in a J shape and then it'll spew out this green liquid and as the green liquid starts to crawl up it it'll shed its skin and then once it's skin, shed its skin is done, it'll be like that long at first, but then it'll slowly get short until it's like that long, and then it will change into a beautiful monarch butterfly. So once it's almost ready to hatch, the chrysalis will get darker and darker, and then once it's ready to hatch, it will hatch, and its wings will be very crumpled up at first because it was in the small chrysalis for so long, but then its wings will get straight and strengthened out and then it will fly away and s sometimes monarch butterflies migrate to California or Mexico so I'm going to tell you when and when they migrate now in the four generations of the monarch butterfly so in February and March the monarch butterfly comes out of hibernation to find a mate and hibernation is Mexico or California in March and April the first generation is in March and April. And then the second generation of monarch butterflies is in May and June. And then the third generation will be born in July and August. These three generations go through exactly the same process as I just told you, dying two to six weeks after it becomes a beautiful monarch butterfly. So the fourth generation of the monarch butterflies will be born in September and October, but it's a a little bit different than these first three generations. The fourth generation of the monarch butterfly does not die after two to six weeks. Instead, this generation migrate. The eastern monarchs migrate to central Mexico and the western monarchs migrate to California. And so that is my video of monarch butterflies.